Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Divine Elemental. I'm going to do a collective tarot reading for you guys today. Tarot readings are for entertainment purposes only. Sorry, I was having a hard time breathing. <clears throat> I keep having, like, baby anxiety attack feelings, but it's not me. Like, I just know what it feels like. Because <clears throat> it's happened to me before. <coughs> so... I hope everyone's taking care of themselves. God, Michael Spirit, what are we reading on today for the collective? Oh, I'm using the Hearts Hidden Secrets. I always forget to do this where I tell you guys the decks. <clears throat> Beginnings, try again. New directions, start over. many. What else are we reading on for the collective? Guys, look at this. We have obscurity, secrets, mysteries, concealing, perceptive, better off, happiness, clear head, emotional storm, which I picked up on another reading this week, twin flames, and spying. <coughs> So we're taking all of this. We have commitment on the bottom. <laughs> Lusting, of course. Oh my gosh. Sorry guys, things dropped. Oh. Well, all of these cards actually flipped over, but we are definitely not taking all of these. <sighs> Alright, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I just heard emotional shitstorm. <clears throat> this could have to do with a karmic, but I'm going to try not to pick up on third party. But if it comes out, guys, it comes out. Especially with Twin Flames, there's always some kind of karmic person, place, or thing, or behavior. But what was on the bottom of the deck was loyalty, trusting, reliable, believing. Yeah, see? Karma. <laughs> Return. What's this? Clinging. Okay, so I do feel like heavily someone is going through karma at the moment. And I feel like it's deeply rooted in um, betrayal or loyalty, like loyalties lie elsewhere is what I'm hearing. Someone's getting a taste of their own medicine is also what I'm hearing. Um, someone could also be telling someone's secrets to somebody else. And this could be karma because <clears throat> I'm picking up that your person kind of told your secrets to other people and they're getting karma. <clears throat> but on a good note, I don't mean to laugh, but on a good note, it seems to be clearing their headspace like it's actually um, showing them how they felt, uh, how you felt when they did it to you. So let's get some more, guys. And yeah, Five of Wands got left behind with the moon. I feel like a lot of people are, are talking about s something to do with your person. Could be how they they haven't been around lately or in their head. God, Michael Spirit, what are we reading on today? Damn, the devil. Someone could be trying to convince your person that starting over with you if they did tell someone is not the right decision. <coughs> 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 Sorry, guys. <clears throat> uh, but I also feel like your person's waking up to that. That they've been manipulated. Uh, manipulated. We have the Magician. Two of Cups. Oh, yeah. They're seeing things clearly. They are seeing that they have deep feelings for you. And they've had it for a very long time is what I just heard. Justice. Yeah. The justice and the emotional storm. 
I do feel like this is their karma because of what they put you through, the Hierophant. It could be very severe too for them because this is a higher level commitment here. Like, um, sorry. Well, yeah, that's what I meant. But like with God, with the divine, like this is a higher level twin flame couple. We have temperance. <laughs> so I'm hearing that your person had both feminine and masculine qualities, but they used it to their uh, advantage. So this could be <coughs> a divine masculine. Um, like say for instance, they're good looking, right? They know that they could get their way all the time and they use that to their advantage. If they were emotionally mature, sorry, let me correct that. If they were, they knew how to understand emotions they would use it to manipulate people or get what they wanted. Or like I said, if they look good, they didn't really have to do too much. Or they allowed the person to to give them and them not have to give in return. <coughs> but they're changing. They're turning over a new leaf. That's what I'm hearing. Queen of Pentacles. I don't know why I got this, but this could be a feminine masculine. Um, sorry, a female masculine. But that's not for everyone, guys. <clears throat> this could be also just now your Divine Masculine balancing out their magical sides of their feminine and masculine qualities. We have the Chariot here. I do feel like with the Magician and the uh, Queen of Pentacles, <clears throat> the Magician is a single man energy. Like a single person energy and with uh, mysteries and secrets concealing. I feel like if your divine masculine was married to someone or had a higher level of commitment, I don't really see them being completely faithful. And they could have been afraid of you finding this out about them. But they want to, like, I keep getting turn a new leaf. They want to try again. You want to start over. <coughs> um, this also could be a bisexual divine masculine. I've never really actually channeled that. Um, I, actually, I think I did when I first started back uh, August 2022 20, when I started my channel. Sorry, 2023. I forgot what year we were at, guys. <coughs> yeah, so now that this person is waking up to their past behavior here, because we're reading it as, like, moving forward is what I'm getting here, uh, progression, um, I feel like now they're starting to see that you guys have a deep soul connection. Two of Cups could also be a friendship. But that doesn't have to be for everyone. You guys could have actually had a relationship. But regardless, um... They want to come towards you. Yeah, two of swords and the four of swords. They could have been in a standstill, confused energy for a while here. What else are we reading on? Ooh. All right, we have the ten of wands. Yeah, someone's uh, balancing out the responsibilities they have in their day-to-day -day life. Um, they also are realizing that they put too much on you. This could have been spiritually or just too much emotionally on you. Left you hanging. We have two of swords, but it did come out in reverse. Yeah, this person is no longer blindfolded. They see clearly that this connection... Damn, that's awesome, guys. That this connection is, in fact, a twin flame connection. So you could be dealing with a divine masculine that has gone gotten into like spirituality or just looking up you know why I can't forget this person why do I feel so loyal to this person and I don't know them that well or <coughs> other things you know we have death and rebirth it could have came because they were pushed into um a spiritual awakening it's actually given me 
the image of uh, what I posted on my community page with the laughing emoji. It's a, a link that says a visual um, explanation of how I um, introduce people to like go down different rabbit holes or something like that. I feel like this Divine Masculine waited too long and <coughs> God came in and said, all right, if you don't want to do it, and I'll do it for you. I'll push you into the spiritual awakening. And it could have been because they were breaking your heart or with this King of Wands energy. Because I'm getting like the devil with the King of Wands. So very lusty, very um, arrogant type of energy. You know, like I'm getting that song Jar of Hearts by, um, shit, what's her name? The chick that sings uh, A Thousand Years. Christina, I don't know why I'm hearing Christina Milian because it's definitely not that. Now I'm hearing that song, Dip It Low by <laughs> Christina Milian. But whatever, if you guys know it, you can link it in the comments. <coughs> but, I mean, there's not a lot of songs called Jar of Hearts if there's even multiple. But, yeah, I feel like they're taking steps towards you now with this th three of uh, wands. They could be having an issue communicating with you at this time because I, now I feel like I'm stumbling over my words when I <laughs> started talking about them realizing that you guys were twin flames. So maybe there's still a bit of a denial on whether or not they would actually admit this to you. I want to get... Um, why the devil with temperance? No, you know what? I'm going to use a different deck. Yeah, stop shuffling at the wheel. I feel like uh, the wheel of karma is turning on them. And that's what's waking them up. I picked up this deck right here. I have no idea what it's called. Um, I got it on Etsy though. It's like Beginner's Tarot. It'll pop up. Or Amazon. I don't know. One of them. But the tower is on the bottom. Go and Michael Spirit. Why the devil? For the collective that we're picking up on right now why the devil energy with temperance justice nine of swords because they had you in their head uh your head for months is what i heard if not years because um i believe yeah <laughs> i'm laughing because i just heard fuck boy fuck girl energy <laughs> Yeah, so, um, like I said, this could have been a Divine Masculine that was well aware of how to use their masculine and feminine energies. And now God is calling judgment because it was like, yes, you were blessed with good looks. Yes, you were blessed with emotional understanding, but that didn't give you a right to play around with people. And I feel like with us clarifying the devil in temperance, I feel like it was a very selfish selfish energy like i said if there was a higher level commitment here where they were in a relationship they were still acting like they were single because the nine of pentacles is a single energy and i am picking up heavy that this is a divine masculine that is a female so i will say that that doesn't mean there's no messages for anybody um you know in the in the opposite gender but this is what I'm picking up heavy, so I want to deliver the message because we don't get this energy a lot. But I feel like if they wanted something, they got it. Like if it was their wish fulfillment, they got it. And they did the whole sweeping off the feet, the love bombing type of energy. And God kind of got to the point where they're like, okay, you want to be in this King of Wands energy all the time and use your masculine and feminine energies the wrong way? Then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you what's up. So, I'm hearing you fucked with the wrong divine feminine. Feminine. Yeah, I split the deck on the, the death. Um, I just heard ego death. So, they could be going through an ego death, but I do feel like heavily they just went through a spiritual awakening. <clears throat> what else do we need to know about this connection? Actually, let's... Uh, why the Hierophant and the Two of Swords in Reverse? Why the de um, mm, Why did I just say that? The devil in the hierophant. 
So maybe if this was in um, a spiritual divine masculine, because I'm being drawn to this, this magician that's conjuring up something, they could have used spell work on you. They could have known that they had um, abilities here and kind of used it on you to manipulate you, maybe to uh, block you out, stop you from um, getting grounded and receiving your pentacles is what I'm hearing. So someone was fucking with your finances, your root chakra. They could have also, um, they could have also tried to manipulate you and use some type of spell work for you to leave a soulmate connection that you were in. Not necessarily saying that it wasn't a karmic for you guys, but um, it was because they wanted to put, you know, their wand in you, Knight of Wands. <laughs> <coughs> they wanted uh, mostly here and they wanted you to rush towards them but you kind of the look at what just popped out the high priestess they didn't realize you were in high priestess energy though this could have been blocked from them and uh, I'm getting it was yeah it was blocked until it was necessary for them to know 2-2 two, two could be significant 4 could be significant yeah it was something about knocking down a tower for you guys to rebuild your foundation all right why the higher fit with the two of swords in reverse for the collective god michael spirit too much too many all right higher fit two of swords in reverse we have been king of swords i almost said the knight of swords Strength in the full. So seeing that, I don't think anything is a coincidence. Me seeing the Knight of Swords, I feel like someone is trying to block themselves from coming towards you at this very moment in time. I just heard I'm not ready yet. But I do feel, like I said, remember I was picking up a little bit of denial energy here. <coughs> I saw 1717 17 when I said that, um, that they won't admit this connection is so profound. The King of Swords is kind of like a standoff energy and with the strength card. I do feel like this isn't going to be a divine masculine that comes up and comes up to you and says, I want to risk it all for you. Like, I want to be with you as much as we would love that. Right. I don't even think this is a divine masculine that will say that you tame the beast inside of them. That you're the reason that they changed because they could see a future with you. So this devil energy, like this fuck boy, fuck girl energy that we're picking up on. Um, you could be the only person that um, this divine masculine sees that they can have a relationship with you and be completely satisfied without going um, to, you know, everybody else for satisfaction. I do feel like they are going to express emotions to you, but I do feel like it's going to be tamed. It's not going... They may say that they do feel a, a very strong soul tie or soul connection to you. The year 80, 1980 could be significant for you guys. This is a year 8 as well, so I do feel like there is going to be some unions here coming to fruition. Yeah, after heartbreak though, guys. Three of Swords, a lot of heartbreak. It's because of uh, truce coming out with the Ace of Swords here. And steps actually being taken to correct it. Why the Justice with the Ten of Wands? The Queen of Wands flipped over. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? <laughs> <coughs> I don't mean to laugh, but Judgment and the Queen of Wands. Again, this could be a Divine Masculine. That is a female. But this also could be a Divine Masculine that has a female energy that was kind of doing the same shit, honestly. Like, they were just cheating on each other. And God just came up and said, okay, guys, this is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> like, if you don't want to be with each other, just, like, fucking move on. <coughs> I want to get one more. I split the deck on the Queen of Cups, so we're going to keep that in mind. Why this Queen of Wands for the Justice and the Ten of Wands? 
Ai, ai, ai. Ai, Dios mio. Okay, we have Ten of Cups, the Magician. Ten of Wands again. Three of Swords. Wow. Two of Cups. Okay, I gotta take a drink for this. <sighs> <coughs> So, when I got up to take a drink, I looked over at the microwave that's in this RV, you know, that I live in. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, and it said Magic Chef. <coughs> I don't know if it's a brand that still exists. This is a really old RV. But I feel like this could have been a connection, like your Divine Masculine with this karmic. That was very much into... Which is crazy because I picked this up on another reading and I'm not saying that everybody does spell work guys, but they definitely could have been involved like are knowledgeable in a sense. They could have actually paid people to do this because I'm hearing that this karmic paid someone <clears throat> to block this divine masculine from seeing this connection with you. See the flames here, the fire, I feel like it got, it went up in flames because there was too much power and there was too much of a connection that this Divine Masculine felt towards you that it kind of blocked out all of this spell work here. I do feel like this Karmic and the Divine Masculine had a family, like kids and everything else. That's not for everyone. Um, and I feel like this this. Queen of Wands energy, this distorted feminine here. And Queen of Wands is not normally distorted, guys. But I, that's what I'm picking up because I keep being drawn to this devil. I feel like they put a lot of burdens and responsibility on this Divine Masculine to keep them from not, like, to keep them from not running away is what I just heard. To keep them stuck in staying in this connection, even though it was breaking their heart. You know, and they I feel like they were also using the kids as well <coughs> to um, make this Divine Masculine feel guilty. And if it's not spell work, guys, the Magician is just someone that's, like, very good with their words. Very, It could be manipulative, though, especially with the Magician next to the Devil. This could be someone that knows how to use the kids or responsibilities against this Divine Masculine. This could be like, um, yeah, I'm hearing like 10 or 20 years together kind of relationship. And uh, this person knows how to manipulate this Divine Masculine. I do feel at one point, <clears throat> this Divine Masculine did see this uh, karmic as like a soulmate, but shit changed, yeah. Look, I said shit changed, and what I was thinking is when you came into the picture, and I literally split the deck at the lovers, guys. Twin flames, definitely twin flame reading. <clears throat> All right, why this two of cups with the chariot, please, God, Michael Spirit? Why this two of cups with the chariot? Page of wands. Yeah, they're seeing things differently. I do feel like you're you're kind of like sparking enthusiasm <coughs> in this divine masculine to pursue this further. To make plans, you could spark their creative um, endeavors as well. Look at this, Ten of Cups with the Page of Wands. Yeah, you're getting them excited to actually get what they want. And I just heard you made me believe in love again. Um, and I kind of got sad just then. Yeah, look, uh, the lovers was poking out here. The five of swords, they're tired of fighting with you. They're tired of uh, feeling... Uh, I keep hearing, um, why can't I just be with you already? But again, I split the deck at the lovers, so I do feel like there's... Um, it's not time yet. 
you gotta balance balance out some things guys yeah and then you can go after this ace of wands yeah look healing the world you gotta close out a cycle divine masculine you need to heal something and you need to have a, a passionate new beginning but something that's closed closed and accomplished so you can move on king of swords king of swords is like a <clears throat> a divorce a divorce masculine in readings so it could be that guys especially with this justice card here yeah judgment you're being put to the test is what i just heard divine masculine to see if you're gonna close this cycle out so you can um you can go home is what i just heard all right why the magician and the queen of pentacles yeah ace of wands it's time to reveal your secrets and communicate it. Could be to this Queen of Pentacles energy, which is you, Divine Feminine. Um, I, I do feel heavily, Divine Feminines, that you already know this. You see how she's sitting there, very intuitive. Because the Queen of Wands is a very mystical queen as well um, as the High Priestess and the Queen of Wands. Um, feminine energy in itself is a very intuitive <clears throat> an intuitive energy but like with this one specifically coming out I feel like you already know these secrets that this divine masculine is trying to keep from you but they do need to come out and tell you the truth they need to communicate the truth to you so you guys can have a true authentic I keep seeing the the ace of swords too you have to give each other clarity you have to be truthful so you guys can have a fresh start that is it's clear for you is what i'm hearing yeah look at this the lovers you guys are very 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 attracted to each other both of you very passionate about each other i'm hearing chemistries off the charts you guys choose each other I'm getting that song, I Choose You, by um, Forrest Black. Alright. Let's get some Romance Angel Oracle. Guys, if you haven't already, please hit that like, subscribe, comment on this video if you like this content or you just want to show some love. You can also click that share button. Even if you don't want to share it, it still picks up on the algorithm and it helps me in rotation, guys. So I really appreciate the love and support. Everything is in the description box. Donations. Because um, I know some of you guys email me on that. But guys, if you want me to get to you sooner, <clears throat> go in the comments. It's so much easier for me to respond to the comments because I, I'm backed up on my emails right now. But all my social medias are also in the description box, guys. We have very soon. Clearly decide what you want. So it comes to you now. Now, I'd never ever take these in reversal, but it did stick out to me that it came out like this. So remember, Divine Masculines, I was telling you that you are being tested on whether or not you will release and close out this cycle with this karmic. I feel like this very soon can determine whether or not you and your Divine Feminine are gonna repeat another toxic cycle, not toxic cycle, but if you guys are going to uh, repeat another cycle <coughs> because you're deciding to have another toxic cycle with your karmic. So keep that in mind, guys. All right. Yeah, look at this. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. This is your true love. Your true divine love is what I just heard. What else for this connection? We have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. This could be what's holding you guys back on both ends. You you both could have a lack mentality when it comes to finances. Or this could just be the divine masculine that's not feeling secure enough. Because remember guys, the divine masculines are definitely more so in their first three chakras. <coughs> the root chakra the sacral chakra and the solar plexus okay that's why i said before too that 
women feminine energy rather is more of the intuitive beings which is the upper chakras the heart the throat the third eye the crown chakra you know what i mean guys so they could be feeling not secure right now in this um i just heard endeavor so maybe they're trying out something new and they're not sure if it's going to pan out but they do want to be secure enough for you is what i'm hearing divine feminine you deserve the world is what i just heard and then we have romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring so guys if you are doubting whether or not you or your divine masculine or divine feminine love you or have feelings you guys do have feelings for each other and your chemistry is off the charts guys Bottom of the deck is unrequited love, and I just heard karmic. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. <coughs> so if you guys had a question, Divine Masculines that are watching, is it worth keeping this karmic relationship if at one time they were a soulmate or whatever? You guys have, that ship has sailed. Too much bad has happened, and I'm not saying that. You don't work on things that are bad in, um, in marriages because, honestly, guys, most people want companionship. They don't want a relationship. Relationships actually take work. People want someone to cuddle with, to have sex with, to talk with. No one actually really wants to put the work in a lot of the times. I'm not saying not everyone, but that's a lot of the times. And I feel like... Um, Divine Masculines, you could have been putting more of an effort in this relationship or marriage. And it's time for you to be happy as well. We're going to close it off with some advice from Angel Therapy Tech. Right here. God, Michael Spirit, what's the advice? Whoa. Um, okay, we'll take it. I had to see if they wanted me to take it. All right, we have crown chakra, which I see as like um, the joint chakra. <coughs> you know, the first three <coughs> is masculine. The next three is feminine, but then the crown chakra is like that, that open one. And I feel like both of you can thrive in, the, in connecting to the divine. Pay attention to your ideas as they are messages of true divine guidance sent in answer to your prayers. I feel like um, there's a divine masculine that's getting a lot of dreams about you right now, divine feminine. Or they feel like they're dreaming about you and um, they feel it when they wake up. We have, if you get nervous, focus on service. Um, I also heard someone's nervous about leaving their karmic. Put your entire intention on answering the question, how can I make the world a better place? I'm also getting that there's a divine masculine that might not feel good enough like divine feminine. You might know what you want to do in the future or to help the collective. And this is a divine masculine that's not completely sure. And, <coughs> <coughs> and it makes them feel like they're not ready yet. But it says, and the law of attraction will automatically take care of your needs. Okay? So ask the divine for help, guys. Do not be ashamed to ask the divine for help. We have free will, so they will not intervene unless we ask for their assistance. If we want to know what are we meant to do, like, for instance, I didn't know I was going to start with tarot. I'm like, what the hell am I supposed to do, God? Like, how am I supposed to reach the collective doing Uber Eats? Are you telling me on my deliveries, I'm going to like drop some knowledge and help people and no word of a lie. Tarot literally came into my brain. Listen to your intuitive feelings. Your body is receiving accurate messages from the divine. So guys, do not doubt yourself. We have intuitive feelings. We have crown chakra. We have working with the divine all over the place here. So guys, Trust yourself. You are highly, highly connected to the divine. Do not doubt that. <coughs> I think that's it, guys. Do I want to pull anything else? No. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, let's do messages, guys. The Hidden Truth, Volume 2. And uh, we're going to close this out.
<laughs> Sorry for not being sure. <laughs> God, Michael, spirit messages from the collective's person at this time. All right. Look at this, guys. I want to start over. Start over. Beginnings. So if you guys are doubting whether or not your person wants to start over, they do. I can't reach out. So as of right now, this Divine Masculine cannot reach out. Um, Divine Feminines, this also could be you telling your Divine Masculine that you cannot reach out to them because you're standing in your Divine Feminine energy. Um, and I'm being brought to that song that I posted on my community page, Woman by uh, Dojo Cat, which is um, like being in that attracting energy. So that's why you're not going to put forth the effort to reach out to Divine Masculine because they have to be in their masculine energy and that energy is pursuing that's going after what they want. But they're telling you that they won't let you down. It says, I won't let you down. So have faith in your Divine Masculine that they are working on things no matter how long it does take, guys. Time is an illusion. The Divine does not know timing. That's why in the Bible, God says that He will never give a time frame of when the world will end, when tribula tribulation will start, because humans are so involved with timing that they forget to live in the present moment. And you have to live, guys. So we have... I miss being with you, so someone misses you deeply. Especially knowing that they have feelings for you now. Like deep, deep, intense feelings is what I just heard. Your intellect arouses... <coughs> <coughs> Your intellect arouses me. I picked this up on another reading. I think it was, how does your person see you? I literally stated just this card. Um, so your person loves how intelligent you are. Um, I'm also getting how you articulate your words, how you speak of things passionately, how you can have a conversation and not be intimidated by somebody else is what I'm hearing. So maybe like you, you back up your knowledge or, um, you're good at debating is what I'm hearing. You didn't see my tears. So... Divine Feminines, I'm getting if you feel like this has been easy for your Divine Masculine, they're coming through and telling you that it has not been easy. And I am getting heavy that this is a Divine Masculine. Even if you don't think they would cry, they have cried. They've shed tears over you. They've also, um, I just got um, someone that was heavily drinking too. Trying to drown out their sorrows, trying not to think of you. I got the word numb in my head. And then we have, you broke my heart. I'm getting that song from Kelly Clarkson. Um, I don't know if this is what it's called, but I'm getting, uh, breaking my own heart. I can't get enough of you. Now, you broke my heart doesn't necessarily mean that you did anything Divine Feminine to break their heart. It was just this process of them finding out who you were, you staying away, that kind of thing. It legitly broke their heart in it. <coughs> I'm hearing that's what scared them as well. Is if you guys haven't been in a relationship or you've just started, like your heart already got broken so severely that they're they're kind of afraid to commit to you. Because what if they fall even more in love with you and you guys get married and have kids and then you decide to leave them or like what would that heartbreak feel for them is what I'm getting and it scares the shit out of them but again that's something that your divine masculine needs to work through because obviously divine feminines and divine masculines once you guys come into this union where you guys have your energies balanced it doesn't get better than you guys together, you know, and, and they'll see that. And then on the bottom of the deck, we do have, I feel the sexual tension. <laughs> like I said, guys, you both heavily, heavily are attracted to each other. Um, you both have a lot of chemistry. Um, like your bodies speak to each other. Let's just say that. <laughs> 
Alright guys, hit that like, subscribe, comment on this video. I love you guys. Peace.